Hi everyone and welcome to this video and if you're new, welcome to my channel. Finally, I can sit down and film this video. I've waited for this for over a month ago, nah, a month ago. And uh, this product finally arrived this week. It's Sunday when I'm filming this. So it arrived a couple of days ago and I've been trying it out a couple of times and I've been loving it. I'm going to use it in this video. So today we are going to use this Nudie Patootie Laura Lee Los Angeles palette. This palette launched for around a month ago. This is the outside packaging. Like it. This is the package of the palette. I really like the rose gold shade. I really like this nude shade of the packaging. I love, I think this is a beautiful palette. Now, when I saw this, it kind of reminded me of this uh, color, color rain Cheers of Beauty palette. So I thought it would be the same size. When people reviewed this palette, for me, the side kind of reminded me of this palette, but actually it's smaller. Let me show you. It's a little bit smaller than this palette. And the pants are not exactly the same size or, yeah, maybe they are probably the same size. This palette is cruelty free and uh, made in the US. I really like the shades in here. When I saw these shades, when I saw this palette in her video, I got so excited because of the shades. I love cold and warm eyeshadows. I love colorful and more natural eyeshadows. I love all of kind all of the kind eyeshadows depending on my mood. And I use all of them probably for everyday makeup look. But actually when I saw this palette I was in love and it reminded me of the same feeling that I had when the Jaclyn Hill palette with Morphe launched. I was so excited and I really wanted to get my hands on it. I didn't care how hard it was to get it. But actually when I was checking out on uh, lauralee.com website, Laura Lee Los Angeles, I think it's called, Laura Lee Los Angeles website, the shipping was a little bit too expensive. So I waited for it to come on Beauty Bay and I was so happy, but it took like forever to it, for it to arrive. And I contacted Beauty Bay two times and they told me to fill in a paper and they could send me another palette. But actually before I did that, this one arrived and it took it a month. And it's a little bit too long, but because often the packages arrived after five or six days from Beauty Bay, but for four weeks, that was a long time. But he, it's here, it's beautiful, and I've been using a lot of the shades. I haven't used these shades. Now, I know, and I watched all of the reviews and swatches and makeup looks with this palette on YouTube, and many people use this shade. And it's a beautiful shade. This is a Jaybird. But my eyes got on this one. This is exposed. So I was very excited to try this one out. It's like, it reminds me of one of the shades that I love in Jaclyn Hill palette. And this is Uncover. Beautiful, beautiful shades. Today I'm going to use this one all over my lid and I think I'm going to t uh, take a little bit of this one too. I want to do something different than other people because many people use uh, this shade and this shade on their eyelids and I'm definitely going to do that in the future but for this video I'm going to use this one exposed. So if you want to see me creating a makeup look then please keep on watching. I'm not going to swatch all of the shades. If you want to, to see me do that, please let me know down below. Uh, and I will definitely do it. But I'm not going to do all the swatches because there are so many videos with the swatches of this palette. So I don't think it's necessary. It's a new palette. You're probably seeing it around. But I think uh, I want to do just a makeup look. So please keep on watching. So first I'm going to start to prep my eyelids and I'm going to use this Milani eyeshadow primer that I've been using it for a couple of, I can say months. Uh, and I do like it. I don't know if it's my favorite, but I do like it. And I'm going to set it with my Rimmel Stay Matte powder. Now I bought just a new one because my old one is almost empty. And I know I have a little bit 
around here, but I'm going to use the new one. I'm going to start with this streaking in my crease. And I love this palette. Like I said, I've been using it a couple of days. And I think it's a beautiful palette. It's my new favorite palette. Then I'm going to go into Reveal, this one here, also with the same brush, but take it a little bit lower. This palette is exactly what I expected it to be, really. Then I'm going to use this number six from BH Cosmetics and uh, go into this reveal, reveal, reveal again. I can't speak today. Build up this eyeshadow a little bit. Then I'm going to go into a smaller blending brush and then I'm going to in, go into butt naked. With the same brush, I'm going to go into Naked Naked. Then I'm going to take this kind of brush, flat brush, and go into Exposed and wet it with this setting spray from Revolution. Take some eyeshadow on my brush and then And this is how it looks with a wet brush, but I'm going to use my finger also over that. So you can see how it looks when you apply it with your finger. So I like it. Then I'm going to go with this number six again and go into reveal. Blend it more in my crease. And then I'm going to back in the first brush that we had and go back into the first streaky shade. And put more of it in my crease, a little bit higher up. Uh, and I'm going to take this eyeshadow flat brush from Body Shop and go into Stark, this shade up here. And put that a little bit under my eyebrow and with my pinky I'm going to apply it here I'm going to do the rest of my face put some mascara on and I'll be right back so guys I'm back with my make makeup done almost except the lower lash line so we're going to go back into this palette again and then I'm going to take this the streak streaky on the my lower lash line and I'm going to use number 8 from BH Cosmetics then I'm going to go in reveal with the same brush and do exactly the same thing this fly brush again and then I'm going to go into this Naked Naked, the darkest shade in this palette and bring that closer to the lower lash line and then I'm going to take this brush again and take Streaky and Reveal mix those two together and blend. So while I was doing my makeup, uh, this stark shade that I had here 
disappeared, so I'm going to place it there again. Mascara on my lower lash line. So I'm going to set everything in my setting spray. So guys, this is the final look. I really like how it turned out. I love how easy they are to blend, how easy it is to create a beautiful makeup look. I've been using it a couple of days and I really like it. It's dirty, as you can see. I love this. And I think it's a wonderful palette. Uh, I will definitely continue playing with it. Definitely, definitely creating more makeup looks with this palette. Something like uh, this soft glam, uh, Anastasia soft glam palette. You want a nice soft make eyeshadow palette that you can create a nice everyday makeup look and also go crazy and do some uh, not colorful makeup looks but very glamorous makeup looks. I think this palette is for you and I don't regret repurchasing it and I can see myself repurchasing this palette because I think it's going to be my everyday makeup look eyeshadow palette so do recommend it i give uh, this palette a big thumbs up love it recommend it and i think this turned out beautiful so thank you so much for watching please give a thumbs up if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and support me and see you in my next video bye